Vanita used to have a Veterans Administration clinic. I've been coming up here for probably 13, 14 years, and then they shut it down. That was because of a leasing issue a couple of years ago amid a major VA expansion in the region. Felt kind of abandoned by the VA or uh, inconvenienced uh, so it would be more convenient for them. The closest remaining VA clinics were in Jay, Bartlesville, and a new one in Claremore. The latter, a 45-minute trip for Marine Corps veteran Jerry Saunders. And I don't drive that good anymore, and I can drive up here real easily. It's only 13 miles. And James Land from Miami says he gets his health care needs met in Veneta already. I just lose about two hours of a day as opposed to over half a day if I go to Claremont. But Thursday saw Cherokee leaders, VA officials, and area veterans celebrate a solution. The solution is to co-locate veterans health services for all veterans right here in about 1,300 square feet of our very large health center. This is really a win-win. The VA has co-located its facilities in some parts of the country, but never in this part of the country and in a tribally affiliated setting, as Cherokee Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. put it. His father and former Vanita Mayor Chuck Hoskin Sr. played a major role in creating this partnership. It's going to be something that we can continue to duplicate and mul multiply throughout the uh, state, which is, and the rest of the country. And the veterans who spoke with me seem hopeful. It is the best health care I've ever had in my life here in Vanita, so I, I really believe that's going to continue on, especially with the Cherokee influence. As for when the clinic will open, Huskin Sr. said at the ceremony he expects the clinic to open as early as late April. Reporting in Vanita, Douglas Braff, 2 News, Oklahoma.